Thank you so much, Handbells. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. On behalf of Calvary Baptist Church, we want to welcome you to Christmas Night of Worship brought to you by the music ministry here at Calvary Baptist Church. If you're a guest with us uh, this evening and you have your program, if you'll look on the back of your program, you'll see a QR code. We'd love for you to scan that. Uh, with your phone and let, let, let us know who you are and, and we just can uh, reach back out to you and we'd love to know that. If you're looking for a church home this Christmas, just wanted to let you know that we have no Sunday school on December the 24th, but we will meet right here at 1015 on Christmas Eve and then at five o'clock, we will have our traditional Christmas Eve service right here in the sanctuary and we'd love to have you join us for that. We got a great night prepared for you. We have our sing our singing seniors, our senior saints is what they're called, and we have our children's choirs as well. You've already heard from the handbells. Our orchestra will be playing, and the choir will also. So what a wonderful night for us to worship the king. On the front of your program, you see the verse there where it talks about the shepherds hearing about baby Jesus being born in a manger. And you remember what the shepherds did. They didn't wait to go see him. They went immediately to see him. And then when they left, after seeing Christ Jesus, they praised and glorified him. And hopefully we can do that tonight as we see the Christ child. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for bringing us here tonight into your house. We love this time of year. We also know that it gets busy and there's hustle and bustle and we're trying to shop and we're trying to do so many things that takes us off the real meaning of Christmas. So we hope tonight that we focus it on you. We focus it on, on you and, and the cross as well, dear Heavenly Father, because that is the greatest gift. We just ask tonight that you open our hearts to worship you. That's what it's called, a, a night of worship, and that we just lift up your name and praise, dear Heavenly Father, in all that we do. We ask that you be with those that are, that are leading tonight be with their nerves and, and just give them the peace to, to share your story as we lift up your name. Amen. Christmas. 
Amen. Didn't they do a good job? I know a bunch of them went to Branson a couple of months ago. I, I was rocking on that amen, amen. Y'all did a wonderful job on that. Well, guess what? I said we we're going to lift up the, the name of Jesus tonight and worship him. And now is your opportunity to do that as we sing this great hymn, The First Noel. And we'll sing that together. If you'll stand and we'll sing that together.
Thank you so much, Children's Choir. Rosemary told me to stall just a little bit while we got everybody in position, and I know that's a scary proposition to have Judd Wilson stall with a microphone. But in your program, you did see if you're interested in being a part of our choir and our music ministry, let us know that. We'd love to have you up here joining us, and maybe you can be dressed like a valet parker. I walked, came in earlier, and somebody handed me their keys. I had to park their car, and I said, no, I'm, this is my choir uniform. It's, I'm not parking cars tonight. But I'll get with you after... Uh, Bob and get your keys back to you and get your car around but no we'd love to have you join us and lift up those uh, praises to the Lord and we're going to let you do that with us now we're going to sing a song a joy medley and we'd love for you to join us so stand as we sing together as a church for this next song
Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining far through shadows dim, giving a light for those who long have gone, guiding the wise men on their way unto the place where Jesus lay. O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. O oh, beautiful star, the hope of light, guiding the pilgrims through the night. Over the mountains till the break of dawn. To the land of perfect day, it will give out a lovely ray. O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. O oh, beautiful star. upon us until the glory dawns. Give us a lamp to light the way unto the land of perfect day. O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Star, the hope, the grace for the redeemed, the good and the blessed. Yonder in glory, when the crown is won, Jesus is now the star divine, brighter and brighter. Shine, O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. O oh, beautiful star, beautiful, beautiful star of Bethlehem, star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawn. Give us a lamp to light the way unto the land of perfect day. O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on.
angels greet with anthems sweet. It was shepherds watch or keep this. This is Christ, the King, who shepherds God and angels sing. Born, born, born is a king that heaven and nature join and sing. Glory, hallelujah, tis a wonderful thing. Born, born, born is a king.
I want to thank you for coming tonight, and I hope that your heart has been blessed by just hearing the, the Christmas music and everything that uh, has been entailed tonight. We know that there's an audience of one, and his name is Jesus Christ, and it was our desire tonight to, to bring him honor and to bring him glory uh, for everything that took place tonight. You know, uh, about August, several months ago, we did not know um, what we were going to do for Christmas. Uh, we're, we're in uh, the process of uh, searching for a minister of music, and I and, uh, didn't know what Christmas was going to be about, and um, if we were going to, to put all this together, then we had to have somebody in the office to communicate with all of the uh, choir and get everybody in practice and, and uh, all those different things, and Miss Ellen White was that person. Thank you, Miss Ellen, for all that you have done to help. When you get all the choir together, they got to have something to sing. So somebody had to put all the music together uh, and help with that. Miss Lisa Talley, thank you for everything that you've done to help with that. If you get all the choir here and all the band members and orchestra and you've got music to sing, somebody's got to lead it. Miss Rosemary Rutledge, thank you. Thank you very much. I sat in the back row tonight because uh, I wanted just to, just to get a glimpse of everything that took place tonight. And I kept thinking and, and understanding that this is the hand of God working through our choir, working through our senior, senior saints, singing saints, our preschool, our children, putting all of this together, all by volunteers, all for God's glory. And we give God all the glory for that. And we're so, so thankful uh, for this night. Amen. Before we do our sing, our, I let the choir, I think you got one more song. Before they sing their last song, have you ever thought about the question, why did Jesus come? What, what is Christmas all about? And you may, real quickly, you may be able to answer it, and I hope you can. But why did, why did Jesus have to come? Not everybody celebrates Christmas. There are some religions that, that don't celebrate Christmas. What, what's, so, what's so different? What's so special? Why did Jesus come? And I believe that, answer, that question can be answered very easily because the Bible says that when God created this world, he created it perfect. And shortly after his creation, the third chapter in Genesis, the Bible says that man sinned, and as a result of that, everybody sinned, all boys, all girls. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter uh, where you're from. The Bible says all have sin, and every person is included in all. And because all have sinned, that's why Jesus came. Jesus didn't just come to have a country birth in a hillside in Bethlehem. Jesus just didn't come to, uh, to be born to have wise men as visitors, to have shepherds as visitors, and, and all the, the elements of the Christmas story. That's not why Jesus came. And Jesus didn't just come to perform miracles and to walk on water and feed 5,000 with five loaves and two fish and to raise someone from the dead and to be a great teacher. That's not why Jesus came. Jesus came to die for sin. He came to take your place on a cross. Jesus was born to die, and that's why he came. And the reason why he had to come and die is because man had a problem, man sinned. So Jesus came. As we celebrate Christmas, we cannot help but look. The whole saying is from the cradle to the cross. You can't celebrate Christmas without having that last chapter, which is a resurrection, because Jesus was born to die. 
And he died on the cross and he rose again. And he says, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That He loved you so much that he willingly gave his son to die for you so that you can have an opportunity to trust in him as your Lord and Savior. And as we live our life and we're born in this world, we're born as sinners and you say, well, I just won't do anything. I, uh, Jesus will come and save me. And yet he paid the price. And yes, he's already fulfilled the promise, but the scripture says, whoever calls upon him, you must respond to the free gift of Jesus. So I'm gonna ask if you would to bow your head. If you're here tonight, and you've never trusted in Jesus as your Savior. Everything that has been done tonight is all for this reason, to encourage those who know Christ to keep living for Jesus, to keep singing for Jesus, keep shouting for Jesus, but also those who've never trusted in him. Maybe that's you, to turn from sin and to trust in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You can do it right where you're at. I'm not going to make you come down. I'm not going to go down the aisle and find who you can do it right where you're at. You don't need me. The scripture says, whoever calls in the name of the Lord, right where you're at, you can say, Lord Jesus, I know today that I'm a sinner. Lord, I'm separated from you. But I believe you died on the cross. I believe you're the son of God. And today I turn from my sin and I trust in you as my Lord and Savior. If you've never given your life to Jesus, you can do that right now. Just call upon him and he'll save you. And friend, I encourage you this morning, if you've done business or this evening, if you've done business with the Lord, you know in your heart that you've called upon him and prayed and received Christ. It's not just a decision and everything's good. It's a decision that changes your life. And from now until the, you see him face to face, you live for him. You get involved in church. You serve the Lord. You read his word. You pray. And you be like Jesus every step of the way. Father, I pray for every person who's here, Lord, the believers that are here today. I pray, Father, that those that know Christ, Lord, we would be encouraged to continue to strive to follow you in everything that we do, to lead others to Jesus, to point people to Jesus. Lord, and I pray for those tonight who've trusted in Jesus for the first time as their Lord and Savior. God, they would be like the shepherds. Go and tell everyone. Tell their family, tell their children, tell their parents, whoever they can. Tonight, I trusted in Jesus as my Savior. I'm not ashamed. He has changed my life. He has brought me joy, as the verse in our bulletin says tonight. Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. There's born for you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ Jesus the Lord. Lord, thank you for tonight. Thank you for your hand, your Holy Spirit, who has led us all through the practices, the, uh, all the way up till tonight. Thank you. And we give you all the honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. After our choir sings their, their last song, we've got a soup fellowship over in our ministry center that we encourage you to be a part of. And we ask if you go over there that you go out the, the green awning door and immediately turn right and go in the fellowship hall that way. Uh, you can't have soup without cold weather. God's given us cold weather. So we want to make sure those that do have to stand in line are inside. So when you go in um, by the green awning, turn right, and that hopefully our line, everybody will be inside. But you'll see everybody. Thank you so much for coming tonight, especially those who may be our guest. Choir, close us out with one more song. Thank you.